Greetings wonderful people, my name is Ivan, and this video is for people who work in Photoshop and want to put a picture right in the center of their canvas, or inside of some other frame, or maybe just want to align the centers of two different objects. If any of these purposes matches yours, then let's dive right into this tutorial. We will start with a simple example and try to create something similar to a Japanese flag. First, let's create a circle selection and fill it in with Alt plus Delete. Then, to place it in the center of your canvas, you just need to push Ctrl plus A to select the entire image, choose the Move tool and press these two buttons on your interface which represent horizontal and vertical alignment. I will offset this circle for demonstration purposes and create a smaller one to decorate our flag. Now I select the bigger shape by holding Ctrl and clicking the layer with the left mouse button. To align centers of these two pictures horizontally, I select the layer I want to move, proceed to the Move tool and press Align Horizontal Centers. I enhance the flag further by placing another small circle underneath our main shape. Next, I merge the two extra layers, then duplicate and rotate them until I get the desired result. I made a hole in our circle to show you that you are not limited to basic shapes. Let's make another circle which we'll put in the middle of our donut. Hold Ctrl, click the layer with our main picture and use the Move tool again. To put the picture back to the center of our canvas, let's put the layers in a group, press Ctrl plus A to make the selection around the entire canvas and use the Move tool on the newly created group. Wonder how I made the thumbnail to this video? At its core, I just created this line, selected the main circle and aligned vertical centers this time. In order to put text in the middle of my new line, I went through the same process again. This time I just selected the line and chose horizontal alignment. If you use this method often, you'll most likely notice that sometimes the alignment doesn't work as expected. In most of the cases, it's because you accidentally put a non-transparent pixel somewhere on the screen or even outside of the canvas borders. In order to fix this issue, you may select what you actually wanted to center, cut it out of the layer and paste it back. Instead, if you'd like to delete all the pixels outside of your canvas, you need to select the entire canvas with Ctrl plus A, choose the Crop tool, make sure that you put a tick in the Delete Cropped Pixels field and then press Enter twice to crop your image. To end this video, I want to introduce you to the 2D representation of Wheatley from Portal 2. While making this fan art, I had to rely heavily on the techniques shown in this tutorial. And that's it for today, subscribe to this channel if you'd like to see more concise and practical software tips along with other game dev videos, and I'll see you in the next video. Farewell.